The anchor of this strip mall left five years ago. Now, a local small business plans to turn this red store green. It's going to be green. <laughs> we'll be growing a whole range of leafy greens, many of which, many which are familiar to the consumer, but many of which the consumer has never tasted. And we're really excited to blow people's minds with varieties that they've really never had. Wilder Fields operates a vertical farm in Chicago and will open a larger location in the south suburb, selling produce locally to residents, restaurants, and markets by making use of all the space, floor to ceiling. To be able to take big box space like this, reintroduce the jobs that might have been lost by closing them down, uh, 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 boosting the foot traffic that was lost, to come in and help revitalize that corridor is, is really exciting to us. The red paint left over from the previous tenant. Target had been here for 20 years, but closed in 2015. For those in the area, a small business growing produce and adding jobs is welcome news for the Southland. 24 acres of, of farmland in, in this in this 135,000 square foot building is pretty exciting when you think about it. We've been a food desert for a number of years, so this actually fills an important void, allows us to get fresh produce in at an affordable price and bring jobs. To have an indoor farm where we can come year round is going to be phenomenal. Wilder Fields plans to start production next year and be fully operational by 2023. Not only with a place to sell its produce, but an education center to show just how you farm indoors year round vertically. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.